I made 25,000 US dollars day trading Bitcoin, winning 100% of my trades. Calling this live in front of 30,000 members in our Telegram group and on our daily live streams. And in this video, I'm going to break down the exact strategy I and a hundreds of others use to get results like these, these, and these. And most importantly, how you can utilize these exact steps to replicate our results. To give you guys a bit of a background reason on why we trade crypto on top of Forex, it is because the markets are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week for crypto. So when the markets are not moving during the weekends for Forex, money can still be made with crypto. This allows me and my community to make money at any day of the week. Now, the question is, why do we specifically trade Bitcoin? Do we trade Ethereum or altcoins? Our answer is no for the time being. This is because the market cap for these altcoins are still relatively small, leading to higher volatility and market manipulation by the big boys like the banks or private institutions. Until all coins stabilizes or grow more in market cap size, we will stay away from it. Currently, Bitcoin is the largest market cap crypto in the entire crypto market, valuing it at $830 billion, which brings Bitcoin's dominance to 48.06% of the entire crypto market. It is also known to most traders or investors as the digital gold. We trade gold extremely frequently during our regular forex sessions as you guys can see in our live streams. So when we turn to Bitcoin, we see a resemblance in the pair behavior between gold and Bitcoin itself, allowing us to trade our strategy on Bitcoin easily. So what is this goated strategy that helped us achieve a 100% win rate over the last five weeks? We used a combination of the William Certified Range, our signature strategy crafted by William, as well as a break and retest continuation strategy. Now, both of these two strategies combined when you trade the market, Markets allows you to combat any types of market condition, be it ranging or trending markets. So let's break down the first strategy and how we use them to make money in the Bitcoin markets. The William Certified Range is a strategy that we have broken down in depth in our Ultimate Beginner Swing Strategy video. So feel free to watch the more in-depth breakdown of the strategy over there, but let's cover the main essential points on how this strategy works. There are three important criteria for the William Certified Range. The first criteria is that the range must be formed on the one hour, four hour or the daily time frame. Reason for this three time frame is because these are considered higher time frames where levels created there are more respected. Criteria number two, the range must have a minimum size of 100 to 150 pips. This means that the distance between the support and the resistance must be at least 100 to 150 pips wide. An ideal range occurs when price moves smoothly from the support to a resistance and vice versa. Criteria number three, there must be at least two or more contact points on the resistance and the support respectively. The more times a resistance or a support is respected, the stronger the zone is. So if there are at least two taps on the resistance and the support, it means that the range between the two zones is very strong and price will highly likely stay within a range. When a resistance or a support has less than two taps, the zone is normally considered weak and will more than likely fail to hold and break through. When all three criteria are met, the William Certified Range forms. And this means that you have a 90% chance of winning a trade if you buy at the support and you sell at the resistance of a range. Now, let's take a look at two examples that we took over the past month using the William Certified Range. The first example over here, we mentioned in our community telegram group that we were in a range as identified by the support and resistances marked out on the four hour time frame. So this is the first criteria complete. The next thing that we notice is that both support and resistance that were marked out have minimally two taps on them, making them a strong range to be in. So that's the second criteria done. The next criteria is that the range must be at least 100 to 150 pips wide. This range form over here is about 180 pips wide, which fits the criteria. Now, this means that all the conditions for the WCR is met and we can start to look for buys at the support and sells at the resistance. At this point of the analysis, price just tested the resistance that broke above with a body candle close and immediately closed back into the resistance zone. This tells me that this could be a potential fake out trying to trap buyers out. So what I did here was I waited for price to close below the resistance once again. And once price did that, it gave me the confidence to execute a sell position with stop loss covering the fake out high and targeting the recent higher low over here. Coincidentally, the risk reward ratio here is a one is to one RR thereabouts. So therefore this is still a valid setup. Now, of course, price went straight into profit and smashed our target, making us about 1.4 thousand 
US dollars. Now, the next trick that we took that uses the WCR on Bitcoin was on the 10th of December. As you can see here, price has formed a range between a recently created support and a resistance. And as you can see very clearly on the charts, there are at least two or more taps on both support and the resistance, making this range a valid one. The last criteria is to check if the pip count of the range is at least 100 to 150 pips wide. This specific range is about 120 pips wide, which still makes it valid. Therefore, a William certified range is formed. So right now, since price is at the resistance, I'm looking to play the range and sell all the way down to the support. So I enter over here with stop loss above the resistance and target our support for an 80 pip move. Now, as you can see, price consolidated for a little bit before dumping and smashing our take profit for over 4,300 US dollars. Now, the second strategy that we use to achieve that 100% win rate on Bitcoin is the break and retest continuation strategy. This strategy is actually pretty straightforward. So let me consolidate it for you in five key steps. So pay close attention. Step number one, identify an area of support and resistance on your chart. The key to this strategy is to be able to be patient and wait for a support or resistance to fail. Which brings me to step number two. Wait for a break of a body candle closure outside of the support and resistance zone. The reason why you want to wait for a body candle closure outside of the zones is so that we know that price has definitely broken outside of the zone and the support and resistance is invalidated. A body candle close outside of these zones also tells us that there is high volume in the market because strong buyers or sellers are needed to break the level of resistance or support respectively. Step number three, once a break with a candle closure happens, wait for price to pull back to that broken zone. It is super important that price retest the zone as these filled zones are where orders are being accumulated to continue trending in the market direction. Step number four, once price reaches the previous zone, wait for a candlestick confirmation to enter the trade. The candlestick confirmation that we'll be using will be the bullish engulfing for a break and retest of a resistance area and a bearish engulfing for a break and retest of a support area. Now, step number five, place your stop loss covering the retest level and target a simple one is to two risk to reward ratio. Now that I've laid out all five steps for you very nicely of the break and retest continuation strategy, let's hop onto the trades that we took on Bitcoin and take a look at how we caught them. For the first example, this trade setup here happened after we formed a support and resistance on the chart and price aggressively broke below the support as seen by this huge bearish candle over here. So all we need to do right now is wait for price to pull back into the zone and retest. When price retests the failed zone, I sent a trade idea to our Telegram group as seen over here. I entered a sell position here with stop loss above the failed support with targets at the psychological $40,000 level on Bitcoin. For those of you that don't don't know what psychological levels are, they are basically levels in price on the chart that are denoted by round and whole numbers. So for the case of Bitcoin, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, these are considered your psychological levels because they are whole and they are round numbers. That's why I have my take profit set at a psychological level at 40K because this is where I expect price to show some sort of resistance to continue lower. And I would much rather be safe and take my full take profit over here. So let's see how this trip played out. Of course, price continued dumping and smash our full take profit for a $4,400 profit. Now let's go through another example to make sure that you have a clear understanding of how the break and retest continuation strategy works. Here you can see that price has recently broke through a resistance after respecting a zone twice. On the third attempt, price proceeded to break above the zone with a body candle close, telling us that the resistance has failed and price wants to pump higher. So what I did here was I wait for price to retest the failed resistance and waited for a bullish candle to form. Once the bullish candle here formed, I gave the analysis to our Telegram channel once again to give them a buy signal over here. I decided to be extra careful and only entered once price broke through the bullish candle high because if price breaks through the bullish candle high, there is a high likelihood price will continue pumping upwards, making this trade a very high probability one. So I entered a buy on the break of the candles high with stop loss 
below the resistance and targeted the psychological $40,000 level. Of course, price smashed our take profit and went all the way higher, all the way to $44,000 of Bitcoin. This trade alone made me 1.7K US dollars as seen over here. Of course, on hindsight, I could have just taken my partials and put my stop loss to break even and let the trade run all the way to $44,000. But that's not what I'm here for. In the markets, our job as a trader is to put money into our pocket. And that is the only job I'm focusing on. That's all make money. By now, you should have a clear understanding of how both strategy works. So let's hop onto the charts to take a look at the last two trades that we took to give us a 100% win rate and make us $25,000 US dollars in a single month. Here on the same four hour chart on Bitcoin US dollar, we notice that it has failed to break above a resistance zone. This tells me that the resistance zone is strong and price is highly likely to reject the resistance zone to dump lower. So the moment this candle here formed as a doji, I gave a trade idea to our community members as seen over here, letting them know that I'm expecting price to dump lower towards a support level at $40,000. So what I did over here was I entered the sell the moment price broke the doji candle low with my stop loss above the resistance. For my take profit, I decided to be a bit more conservative and target the previous higher low form as price could very well just reject from there and go bullish. So let's see how this trade plays out. Price dumped almost instantly, giving us basically zero drawdown on this trade, smashing our take profit, which made me a total of $2,800. So let's move on to the very last trade. At this point of the chart, price has formed a very beautiful support with three caps, telling us that this support is a strong one. So on the third retest, price formed a bullish doji, telling me that the bearish pressure in the markets is weakening. This is when I gave an analysis to my Telegram group as seen over here, that I'm expecting price to come higher if the support holds. Now, once price broke above the bullish doji candle as seen over here, I took a buy with stop loss below the support and I targeted my take profit at the $44,000 level, which is also another psychological level. As you can see on the charts, price instantly went into profits with zero drawdown at all. And after a short while, price smashed our take profit for $8,600 US dollars. So that sums up how we achieve a 100% win rate on Bitcoin over the last month. And we will continue to try to keep up this win streak for our community members and our free Telegram group. I hope this video has given you deep insights on how we went about making $25,000 in a single month just by using one pair and one time frame. Now, if you're someone that is interested in learning the analysis behind our trades and taking the trades live with us, make sure you click the link in the description down below to access our free Telegram group where we provide free signals, analysis, and education every single day for free. If not, that's all from me. The year has just begun. Let's smash 2024 together. Do make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel to keep updated where we upload a brand new video every single week. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.